whatever you want to call them. Did a Sweet 16 this past weekend with them. First time gigging. Well, first time with these of, of gigging and it was fantastic, man. Uh, I mean, really, really, really impressed. Uh, I, I There was only about 25 people or so, but the room's capable of about 50 or 60, I believe. Smaller room, tight space. I really didn't get to separate them a lot, but boy, are they loud and very impressive, super clear. I had other people in the uh, audience that were telling me, wow, sounds real good. I can't believe they're so small and how loud they really get. And like I said, I wasn't even near pushing them. I didn't even probably have them maybe about halfway with that. Fantastic. And you guys could see, much, much cleaner. N none of this having to set up with uh, trusses and light stands and all this nonsense. Makes it a lot easier, a lot more convenient. This guy here, this headliner, uh, I got this from, I think it's idjnow.com from, from my, or remember, uh, probably had it for two months or so. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, it comes with the scrims, with a set of scrims. These are, you know, the white ones, they're uh, Velcroed on. Uh, also, I mean, I believe you can buy the back with the black ones as well. I think they're around like 35 or 40 bucks for them. Uh, you can crack it from wrong. Uh, so right now I have it set up just to show you guys what was going on with it, what it's capable of. I put some videos uh, in the mix so you can see it doesn't shake. And it's pretty stable. There's a four moving heads. These are cheaper moving heads. Well, these two are cheaper moving heads. I think these are two Chinese ones. I just put them on here just to show you. I don't want to put big ones on here. Uh, these two at the end are Chauvet, Intimidator, IRC 150s or something like that. Pretty neat. Little guys, but you see, awesome. This is a very small space, by the way. I'm doing this in one of my bedrooms. Uh, I, I don't have the most space in the house to set all this crap up. My wife and kids and stuff running around, so I'm just trying to be in one little area. Uh, basically, I can show you guys how this, this whole thing works out. Um, I have all this stuff strapped up. Well, I mean, this is, again, running, I think, DMX to each one of them. DMX wiring to each one of them. Uh, one's, one's a slave, one's a master. That's just these two in the end, and then these two are separate. But I'm running two DMX cords on each side of this, and also the, the four uh, power cords. And you, you can't see it. I mean, I'm using these little Velcro straps to show you. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I have any or not. Yeah, yeah. Get a little Velcro. I know it's hard to see. Little Velcro straps you can get from like Walmart or whatever the hell, but they work well. And you can just strap them up. Uh, you don't have to worry about messy lighting. Remember the messy, messy lighting. Messy wiring or anything. Uh, pretty clean. If I want to DMX them, I could DMX them. If it's wireless, even better. But you can do wireless, wireless DMX. Down to your computer with one of them. But it's pretty neat. Pretty neat setup. Um, I think it was about 480 bucks shipped to my front door. The box came a little ripped up. I don't know if it was UPS's fault or whatever. But one of the scrims had a little bit of dirt on them. Basically, I just threw them in the washing machine, washed them, dried them, well, air dried them. Like brand new, like brand new. So you don't have to really worry about them getting dirty or somebody be splashing something on your facade. Well, I would suck at, at a party, but uh, they were all Velcro. It comes with a second set of Velcro, uh, the double side tape. On each side, so I mean, easily removable. The only thing is the outside ones. Uh, when this came, it came disassembled, which was just the framing and uh, the frames that hold the truss in. Those had to be put in. I think there's six screws that come, and they're all. Uh, I mean, it comes with everything you need to assemble it. Maybe five, ten minutes to put together. Um, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, it's two screws up here, two screws on the back side of this, and two screws on the back side of that. And that holds the frame in. What's cool about this facade is that it gives you the option. Oh, you see that? Uh, that's what happens when you hit them. But uh, anyway, it allows you to just use it without the up lighting. I mean, without the lighting on the, and the truss or anything like that. So you can just use it as a facade. It's probably around 40. 45 pounds, comes with a cool carrying case, let me show you guys that. Comes with, I don't know, it's very hard to see in here. I'll throw some lighting on just so you guys can see. There we go. But, comes with a case for the truss itself. Folds up. Got some, some handles. I mean, this is pretty good quality for the price. And then you also have a second case, I'll show you that. This second case is for the trussing itself. Maybe all together, this is about 15 pounds maybe. Pretty cool. I'm able to fit a hell of a lot more in this than just the pieces for the facade. But it uh, gives you, I mean, I have my J8, uh, I have the J8, uh, poles in it so both of those I think I had the two up lights in it these are cheap up lights by the way they still work still do the job uh, I think those are like 50 bucks from eBay something like that pretty cheap but real convenient maybe with the lighting everything like that about 20 minutes to set up uh, I'm a little picky so I mean a lot of, you know a lot of it's tying off stuff and just making the wires look clean so you guys don't see anything. But you can see way more advanced even with the lights on. All you can see is just the, the lights, I mean the wires behind the lights, which is not bad at all. This light's a little messed up because I don't have the uh, screw in all the way to hold it. But it's just enough to kind of put it in place so you guys can see it. Um, but uh, like I said, the whole thing all together, maybe maybe around 60, 65 pounds, easily in and out. I'm able to take this whole setup inside and out in like three trips. And that's without a hand cart. Like if I had like a little push cart and everything like that one trip, no problem. It's pretty cool. I'll show you guys before I get to disassembling it and you guys can see what's going on. All right, hold on. Let me just flip this back around. Flip the camera. Ooh, I know. I know I'm ugly. Hold on. Well, I don't know why it's not doing it, but oh well. I'll show you guys what I mean. So we'll work with this. So let me come around. Let me come around. Let me come around. But you can see 
so I can show you guys pretty quickly. I don't have anything in boxes right now. It's just laid out just so you guys can see and I can put it together real quick. But I have some lighting down there, some cheap lighting. And like this here is where the, uh, is where the truss connects to it. They have wing nuts that attaches in. It's, I think this is two pieces for each side. There's one piece that slits, uh, sits down inside this. It also has two spacers that allows you to lift this up. I mean, this is probably uh, eight feet, maybe eight feet right now, but I think you can get it up to about 10. I mean, you, again, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, oh yeah, so out of DJ Pro, but you see, I, I'm able to put the wiring down here, some braces, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna put some wiring down here so it's not so messy, so you don't have so much on the ground. Um, these also are the supports, and it comes with these. These things are just loose. They just like lay down on here. I don't know if you can see it. They just lay down, so you're able to uh, maneuver them around whichever way you want them. Again, this over here, same thing. You see, I'm using those little Velcro straps, and you guys could see. There's like four wires in each side. But anyway, you can see it goes all the way up here and then I have like the wiring just split off in between each one of them. See, DMX in, DMX out on all of them. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And also like, you know, again, everything's just clean, clean. I have everything going into like one of the, another mixer. I know this is, this is junk, but I have an RCF one of these but I was just showing what it's like. It's in a box right now. All my, all this stuff is in a box. This is a small controller too. Uh, and also check this out. Mm, it was a 3D printed laptop stand. Pretty neat. See, all 3D printed. Pretty cool because you can make your own custom stuff. You don't always have to go buy it. So I know you guys have that kind of stuff. I have STL files for that and all. But you see you can run the wiring down I mean, this is kind of a mess because I had to plug in the different outlets, but I have one of these guys right sitting down here right now. It's just a small power conditioner. Well, I'd be even want to call that a Furman power conditioner, but everything's going into, all the lights going into this. And then I just have the speakers on a different outlet. But um, again, a, let me show you real quick, just so you guys can see. Up top here, that little wing nut is where it locks in. So it's pretty easy, it locks right into that on both sides. You're able to, another really, really cool feature about this thing, let me show you. You're able to, you're able to wing these out. So you could, uh, you could put them out about 45 degrees so it doesn't have to be so boxy. I don't know if you guys see a lot of the facades are just straightforward. I know the American uh, DJ Pro Event Table, I believe it is, that, uh, that you, it's just like square. I mean, it looks good. It's also 800 bucks. This is like, you know, $300 cheaper, but 300 and change cheaper. It's pretty nice. I mean, you guys can see the quality of it. This is again, I'll show you real quick. So you can pull these right off. If you want to be naked, <laughs> you can pull it right off. Pretty neat though. Uh, I don't even remove them when I put them in the bag. I, I just put them in the bag with these and you know, they don't get dirty, I've been lucky, but it's pretty nice stuff. The only complaint I would have is that these are probably cheaper than the JA poles. You see the J poles, like I said, they're solid as a rock. They don't even, they don't get rusty or anything like that. I mean, these, you could see they scratch easily, but they're not like, you know, it's not crazy, your normal trussing. I think this, this is like inch and a half, if I'm correct. I, again, I don't have any mounts on it. I can show you guys kind of how it goes. But the first, the first step in this is to unfold it, obviously, in the bag. The bag, you're able to stand this up so you don't have to worry about it falling over or leaning against the wall or anything like that. So it just actually stands up in one square piece. Uh, you unfold it. When you guys get it, if you do get it, there's two screws here, there's two screws here, and two screws on the back side. Once that's assembled, 
I mean, again, you can use this for side. You don't have to take that off every time. It's just, it's just there. But this is pretty easy to put on. It's just self-explanatory. You just stretch it out. Uh, like I said, look at how good it came out. And this was in the, uh, in the wash machine. But pretty nice stuff. It comes with these pins. I don't know if I showed you this, but see, pins are kind of hidden back here. But these pins, when you extend this up, you can lift this, you can lift this up. It's got two spots. I think one's like right about there. Another's like up here. Gives you whatever, how many feet. But I mean, again, I am 5'11". And I mean, this has still got maybe another eight inches up above me or so. Like before I, you know, I touch a light. I mean, I think this is plenty. I don't even need to put it up, raise it up any higher. I think this looks good. You can see there's no bend at all in the trussing doesn't bend like some of these cheesy ones or whatever now this is a middle section that slides in when you put it up i put the whole pole together the top pole together and uh, you leave those loose those two bolts loose and it gets spread out so it's again where if you're going with this 45 degree angle you could swing out a little bit more than this and also this allows you the, these bars here attach in here with the wing nut but i'll show you real quick uh, underneath here these have two of these on each side there's four of them one two three four and it allows you to extend this so you can extend it or push it in if you you know as you want to adjust this so it could be from the uh 45 to i i'm not sure if it goes past 45 it says 45 so that's something to keep it at this is probably like 30 degrees or something like that but you can extend it out more so you have like little wings sticking out. So you, I mean, I've seen a lot of the other f uh, facades that people are doing now, the new thing, which is that, that wood table, that custom table that has like, your, your whole controller built into it. And it just it has like a little, looks like a totem underneath it. Big thing right now. I'm not crazy about it because I like my privacy. I feel like this, I'm, I'm from a different generation of DJing. I DJed in New York for 10 plus years. I DJed in South Florida for like 10 years. Uh, Maryland I've DJed and now I'm back out in Texas. And um, I like the vibes of a facade. I just like the way it looks. You could, you could change it up. You could do black, you could do blue, white. They sell custom ones that you can go with little hearts on it if you want to be cheesy like that. But I mean, you have the options. You have more options. Um, I feel like the other one is just a little totem. You're, if you're gonna run trussing, you gotta run it separately. A lot of guys don't do it. They'll use these totems. I'm not a totem fan either. I really don't like totems. I, I don't like the fact that they are uh, let me put you back over here just so you guys could see. A lot of guys, like I said, they use that little table. Looks like a little totem underneath it. Then you got to run separate totems and scrims going up the totems and the uplighting going up into the totems. And then you have your moving head on top and it just hovers on the ceiling. Just hovers on the ceiling. Every once in a while, you, you'll get one little beam here and there on the dance floor. But I feel like it's a waste and a lack of lighting. Uh, I like the facade, I mean, I like the, the truss lighting because I feel like it's on you. Like, turn it off, you, I mean, turn the lights off, you feel like you are in a nightclub. Or you feel like privacy on the dance floor, if that makes any sense. That's just me, my personal preference. Some of these guys like it because they think it looks clean. I think this looks pretty clean too. I don't think, I mean, how much more do you need, really? I mean, besides maybe uplighting behind you on the wall, or maybe some sporadically throughout the room, but pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you have to run the totems, you gotta carry those with you. I, th I think the only ones that are even convenient anymore, if, you, if you're using a small car, uh, are the uh, Rockville, I think they are, Rockville, and they're still like, they're expensive. They're still like 600 bucks or two of them, which is crazy. But you gotta run those, I and mean, two of them look, like I said, okay. They, I mean, they're not bad. They, they're a different, different vibe. But I feel like if you show up with this, like you're gonna. I mean, it looks clean. There's no trussing. You don't have to. You don't have to put scrims on stuff and cover light. You know, cover things up and wiring and everything else. And I, I used to have the Globo truss, 
a Hedora Trust, I think it is, and that, that was expensive. That was like a thousand dollar plus stand, and it was just like I had covered it up. I had custom uh, scrims made. I don't know if you've seen those, the big wing scrims, so they come down and cover the whole thing. They look good, but it's extra stuff that you don't need. You don't need people tripping on. You don't. You don't. At least this, you don't have to worry about that. If somebody comes over and leans on this, it's not going to shake it. I mean, it's pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy stuff. You see, I'm pulling on it. You can hear the lights a little bit, but it, it, it's sturdy. Nobody's going to lean on this. And I'm, I'm working on it now. I'll keep you guys up to date. I'm working on maybe doing like a 45 or a 40 inch TV, maybe even a 50 inch. I mean, it's you can see I'm, I'm hanging on it right now. Don't go anywhere. But even a 50 inch TV will probably fit on this, no problem. I don't see any issues with it. I'm gonna try it with a small one to just see how it vibes, but a little one's not even, you wouldn't even feel it on this. So you're able to hang a nice little TV up on here. If if you like TVs and that's a big thing too, you can probably hang one up on here too. You could probably definitely hang a small one up here, but not, not nothing big. But you can do the TV, you know, do some, either the music videos, you put somebody's name on it, you know, Mr. or Mrs., blah, blah, blah. It gives you that option. Now, there is space, there's six holes in this top here. Again, I only have four of them in there, but you have one, two more over here. Let's be on this side. I just put these on this to show you. And then you also have one in the middle, too. I'm, I'll put another light up there. Maybe, yeah, real cool, maybe like a ball. Maybe a disco ball, or like one of those star bright lights up there in the middle. Like, you know, you could switch it up, turn these off. The, again, these all have remotes, so I could just black them out. You'd be able to do uh, a, a cool little ambience with something different, you know. But uh, like I said, I'm I've had this about two months. I've only did with it once, and I wasn't able to use the truss itself. I, I had to just use the facade because there wasn't enough height in the ceiling. It was upsetting because I had all the lighting set up. I had uh, actually I had it programmed on my other computer, the DMX, so it would do a cool show. And when I got there, I didn't realize I didn't have a chance to go look at the place because it was like an over an hour away, and it's a pretty private place. It's they don't have a super amount of parties there, so I wasn't able to really see it. So I had to just put the moving heads, two of the moving heads, my other ones. I put them on the uh, on the floor. What? Well, I mean, it did the trick. People liked it. It was very clean. The RCFs have enough space if you have a small moving heads like this, so you can put the uh, you can put the moving heads on the back. I know it's a little odd. Some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, it's an odd spot for it, but it's better than being on the floor if you don't have any trussing or you're not gonna run anything. That night, I was kind of screwed. I didn't have any other trussing or any other uh, way to get those lights in, so I just put them back behind the speaker, and they look cool. Again, they did what a totem would do up on the ceiling. I'm not crazy about that. But I'm not a huge fan of that. Each his own. Some people like that. Some people are like, oh, those trusses are, are last year, so last so year. quick, the way you break this thing down, you obviously remove your, your heads. Oh, by the way, these each come with the bolts and the fly nuts. So I think it comes with four of them. So I was able to just keep the supports that I have on it right now, and I was able to just run those nuts up. So it's quick. All you gotta do is just take the fly nut off. They won't fall down or anything like that. And I'm on my way. Literally, these lights maybe take five minutes total to put up. And then it's just up to you how much time you want to spend making it clean looking, wiring and everything. But maybe a half, I think I timed myself. I think it was like a half an hour. I just wanted to just see, get an idea of everything. We set up everything. It was maybe a half an hour and that's like going crazy with the wiring and making sure everything's clean and everything. But first thing you do is you take all these lights off. And then second, you can take those wing nuts out, there's two of them up top, like I said, they just swing up and they stay on the bar. They're, they're um, I guess they have a, a nut behind them that keeps them on the bar so you don't have to worry about losing them. That comes off. The middle pieces here, you just unnut them, you'll take those fly nuts off and that separates and that's a separate piece. So everything breaks down into there and then you have, uh, you have these bars, these come off, some screws and then underneath this is a smaller bar, like maybe a, maybe, maybe a, 10 inches and so that's like right in between here that slides in and then there's a fly nut back here you just tighten that up but you take that off take those off put them in the bag and then the facade just folds up all together one easy movement like i'm skipping another part too you have to take these pieces off too but again that's four 
wing nuts, you just unscrew. You take those that fold down. They fit, everything fits right in the bag. Plenty of room for all this stuff in there. I think I had like five or six other extension cord, block extension cords that I was able to put in that bag. The two up lights, the J, uh, JE poles, and uh, all the wiring for these. It's right, right in one case. And it probably weighed maybe 30 pounds with everything. But uh, very simple. The bag is awesome. I mean, it's good quality stuff. It even has a little headliner logo. I don't know if you guys can see that. Little headliner. Los Angeles. But, I mean, it's very, uh, I'm impressed. I really am. I've never wanted one of these because I was always like, ah, I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical. I don't like the way they look. Blah, blah, blah. The reason I bought this, the main reason I bought this, though, is because this comes out 45 degrees. It's not boxy. It's not small. Uh, I, think, I, I think that uh, not, nothing wrong with the American DJ one that has like, I think it's all the, uh, the trust look, that stainless steel trust look, which is cool, but I feel like this is just clean. You're able to do more things with it. Uh, I think it's uh, two feet by four foot, from what I remember reading. Well, uh, simple, simplified. You don't have to go crazy if you don't want to run the DMX cable, you don't have to do it. If you just want to put some other lights on here, it looks good, looks clean. Um, but everything fits in a bag, like I said. This all goes together, and it's, I mean, it's a simple setup. It, it, maybe the whole thing, a half an hour, I think I can tie myself back. But, if you guys have any comments or suggestions or anything, anything I can help me out. Um, again, I'm DJing right now. I've been DJing mainly weddings and everything. But I think, I mean, I'll take on any gig right now. I'm starting off new here in Texas, so I've only had a handful of parties here. Uh, I did really well in South Florida. I was DJing Cocoa Beach, Juno Beach, Jupiter, uh, down in Miami. I had some parties in Miami, Orlando. Uh, I got pretty decent there, and then I took a job. Uh, up in Maryland, I was DJing in Maryland a little bit. Not as much as I used to down in Florida and New York, but I was doing a couple gigs here and there. Um, when I got out to Texas, I mean, this is a whole different animal out here. Lot, lots and lots and lots and lots of weddings. And people have a lot of money to spend down here. But uh, guys, again, any comments, concerns, help me out. Just comment below. I'm willing to take whatever you guys got. I put some of those videos in there that some um, some of the non-copyrighted musics just so you guys could kind of see the ambience of it. I mean, I think it's pretty neat. Please let me know what you think. Thanks.